The National Environmental Public Health Tracking Network website is designed to help you retrieve environmental and health information and data from local, state, and national sources. The three interactive areas positioned in the middle of the homepage are the main ways to navigate the network. These three sections, environments, health effects, and info by location show how the environment can impact your health, how a particular health condition is affected by the environment, and what's happening in health and the environment in your area. Let's take a closer look at the environments section. From the main environments page, select any of the three topic headings, homes, outdoor air, or water. In each of these topics, you will find more specific information, related links, and a search tool. If you ever want to switch to another interactive area, you can navigate back to the home page and start at the beginning. To save time, you can also use the tabs at the top of each page. The second interactive area is the Health Effects section. On the main Health Effects page, you'll find a list of subheadings that direct you to more detailed information about specific health topics, such as asthma, cancer, and childhood lead poisoning. Each topic includes information about how the environment may influence this condition and how we track information for each topic. The third interactive area, Info by Location, allows you to search available data by state. All states do not have the same type of data. Simply click on the state that interests you. You will then be able to select the content areas, indicators, and measures available for that location. Other features you may want to explore are available via the top navigation bar. The first tab lets you learn more about the tracking program. The second tab, State and Local Tracking Portals, contains links to the tracking websites developed by CDC-funded health departments. Note that these state and local portals are separate websites from the site of the tracking network. The third tab will lead you to one way you can search the network for data. Just below the main navigation bar are two indexes that list information available on the site alphabetically. To use any of these tools, select the first letter of your topic of interest and scroll through the options to find what you are looking for. Use the Tracking A to Z index to browse tracking network subjects, or use the CDC A to Z index to browse all subjects that the CDC website covers. If a word is unfamiliar, you can use the glossary to review its definition. Throughout the website, linked glossary terms are indicated by dotted underlines. And just above the main navigation bar is the search feature. On the right-hand side of the home page, you'll find tools and resources that will enhance your network experience. These include page options, links to information on hot topics related to tracking, network resources, and contact information. Now, let's take a closer look at the resources section. On the Communication Features page, you can read national, state, and city profiles, watch a video, download a widget, and listen to podcasts, among other activities. The next selection in the resources list is the option to join the tracking listserv. Listserv members receive information about new features and content on the network, as well as tracking related news and program updates. The document library houses a collection of resources to help users understand the data and methods used on the network. In this section, you can also find the National Environmental Public Health Tracking User Guide. This document describes features on the network and how to search for data. It also provides answers to frequently asked questions. On the Quick Reports page, you can view summaries of network data by topic. Finally, the Technical Notes page defines important terms used in the network, such as indicator, measure, ratio, and more. With a multitude of information and data, the National Environmental Public Health Tracking Network is a powerful resource for you to learn more about the health of the nation and to find information specific to your interests. To learn more about the network's many offerings, please also review Modules 2 through 4. Module 2 focuses on finding environmental and health information, Module 3 reviews the process for accessing network data, and Module 4 further explains the query and results page. Do you still need help finding what you are looking for, or do you have questions about what you found? 
We welcome your questions and comments about the network. Please send them to tracking support at cdc.gov.